And welcome back to The Morning Blend. New studies say that students are falling behind during this pandemic, especially in math. A survey of more than 4 million kids in grades 3 through grades 8 show that reading levels remain pretty much the same, but math skills fell by 5 to 10 points. So how can parents help their kids close this gap? Derek Pipcorn is with Mathnasium, the math learning center, where the only subject they teach is math. Good morning to you, Derek. Good morning. I'm really excited for you to, to join us because this is so important. And it's so hard when kids fall behind in math. I, I think parents really, um, their heart aches for their kids when they're struggling. So tell us more about Mathnasium and what you do there. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, so as you said, we're a math only learning center. So 100% dedicated to math. Um, and as you mentioned, students have been hit really hard. Uh, over this past year and coming up on a year and a half um, dealing with the pandemic and the families that are struggling helping their kids at home. Um, we know they're falling behind and so um, we're here to help families get through this, to bring that stress level down, um, to make it fun um, because for some kids right now, maybe virtual learning isn't the most fun. Um, so we've had a lot of success with it and um, we're, we're proud that we're here for families that aren't falling behind because they have Mathnasium to help them along. I wonder how you know what to teach kids, because I think about my own kids and every teacher is different. Every child is different. Every classroom is different. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, that's even tough um, pre-pandemic, right? Teaching to the individual learner. Now that we have the pandemic going on and we've got students coming in from all different levels, you know, we work with kids really ranging from first and second grade all the way up through 12th grade. So we have a really diverse group here. Um, the cool thing about Mathnasium is if you were to come in the center tonight and let's say we had a dozen fifth graders here, not a single one of them is going to be doing the same thing. It's all individualized to them. So we have a series of diagnostic assessments that we do um, with each of our students. We get to know them um, so we can help them if they're years behind or if they're years ahead and want to challenge, um, we can pretty much do whatever they need specific to the individual. So um, we love what we can offer and, and the kids really do enjoy it. Okay, so Derek, you just mentioned the assessment part of it, and I have to tell you that I went to your website last night, and I was on there for the longest time because you have this, this thing at the top that says, how are your math skills? And then there are different grade level checkups, and I decided to start at fourth grade because I remember even struggling to help my kids with different ways that they do division and stuff like that. And so I started at fourth grade. I actually got one wrong. Um, I, I passed the sixth grade 100%, but I think it's fascinating for parents because um, I know you, you do assessments of kids, but it's fascinating for parents to look at those grade level skills and try to take one of those um, quizzes because you can really see how much kids are learning. And, and so many things came back to me, but I think a lot of parents might be surprised. Yeah, it's a really good point. I mean, I would say at this point, almost uh, two thirds of families that come in, it's the parents saying, hey, I can't help with this anymore. I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, so you guys take care of it. And that's exactly what we can do. Um, it's also fun because you know what, we're not mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or older brothers here. Um, so we've got a different relationship with the kids and we're able to help them when, you know, maybe there's a little bit of battle, uh, mom and dad trying to help, um, you know, a younger kid work on maybe fourth grade stuff. It's a different relationship here. Absolutely. And you know, you've mentioned a couple times the word fun. And I think this is so important because I think by the time kids and parents get to the point where maybe they're contacting Mathnasium and they know that they need a little bit of help, they're kind of down about it. So how do you keep it fun? Yeah, absolutely. So um, as you can kind of see in our layout, the setup in our center here is that, you know, our instructors are constantly interacting with our students. So number one, we have an amazing instructor team at all of our centers. And so our kids really enjoy working with those instructors. Um, again, I think that's a big part of building relationships is really important. Now, a couple other things that we do to make it fun, you know, I mentioned the customized learning plans, things like that that we do. Um, but the other thing that we have here is our rewards program. So at all of our centers, we have an opportunity for kids to earn some rewards. And so we have this pretty awesome rewards program. You'll see this card here where 
anytime a student does math with us, even including the first day they come in for our test or assessment, um, they get to earn stars. As they fill up a card, they can trade it in for things. And so we've got some really cool things here. Um, not every student is motivated by math, believe it or not. Um, and so if you take a look, <laughs> these are some things that they have a chance to earn, which um, believe it, they love it. They tell their friends a lot of times before they even leave their initial assessment with us, they're asking mom or dad, hey, when can I come back? Um, and I think it's all those things that really make Mathnasium fun. Good for you, Derek. I love hearing that kids are, are excited about coming back. I'm sure that really warms your heart, too. And I wonder what the feedback is like from parents. Yeah, it's it's been overwhelmingly positive. You know, we've been, um, you know, unfortunately with the pandemic, we've fortunately seen a, a growth in families coming to all of our centers because they've seen the need for it. Um, and the feedback continues to be really positive of, you know, again, taking the stress away from trying to sit at the kitchen table and help with the math homework, um, you know, from just thank you for giving my child an opportunity to even leave the house sometimes, right? Um, and maybe build some relationships here and really have a chance to enjoy. So, you know, we're seeing growth, we're seeing kids build their confidence that they maybe didn't have before. Um, and what's even more important for us is we're looking at students finding long-term growth, not just getting through tomorrow's homework. Um, and so our opportunity here to help them be more successful next year and in years ahead, even during a pandemic, um, is, is pretty cool. It's been fun. That, that's very cool. And I know you're doing a lot of things to keep people safe. We ran out of time, but really quickly, you have a game demonstration, yeah. right? Is it called 24 game? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's one of my favorite games when I was a little kid. Um, and we have it in most of our centers. A lot of kids will even see it at, at, at school. Um, this is a fun one to play at home. So the basic idea here is you've got four numbers and we wanna get to the number 24 by adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, and so I'll just give a quick example of this one. All four of these numbers, I know if I do eight plus seven, I get 15. I can add this five to get 20, add the four to get 24. That's one way that I can solve this one just by adding. Now, if I want to do a different example, and if you want to try this one, please feel free. That's a oh, nine up geez. there. How do we get to the number 24 using all four of these? What do you think? Okay, so 14, that's, that's 17. So to get to 24, You'd have to do um, nine times two is 18 plus five nice. is 23, right? Yep, you got it. And then add one, one more number. and you got 24. <laughs> hey, all right, congrats. <laughs> I had to look to, with my glasses to see that one there, too. Wow. I was, like, starting to sweat for a second. I mean, when I was on your website, too, I was like, oh, boy. Thank you so much, Derek, for your time. I really appreciate what you guys are doing to help close the gap with math. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, and we, we look forward to meeting some families here in the near future. Sounds great. All right, Mathnasium has several locations in southeastern Wisconsin. You can take a look at your screen there because a couple of them are coming soon. Um, you can find the location closest to you. To visit and set up an assessment, go to mathnasium.com and try that math assessment uh, quiz too.